Guys, what we're looking at today is classic square shape in men's long hair. We're dealing with relatively fine hair on our model today. I'm gonna to look at how a classic broad square shape can impact the density and overall look on fine hair. So stay tuned and check it out. Control. The more hair, the more control I need, all right? People lose their, actually, you know what, Liam? Can I grab that tangle teaser, bro, just to have that on standby? Oh, thanks, bro. Let's get you to pop that there, my brother. Comb running along the contour just there. Basically, place my comb along the side and boom, where the comb meets the head again, that's our contour and that's where our box section is going to come through, all right? So, in and around the recession area, I'm going to drive the comb from front to back, spine the comb nice and straight and we drive like so, groom in that area all the way back. Now, the middle finger stays in play, wider side of the comb is going to groom down, groom down, not groom up, groom down the hair that we've just sectioned out of play and there we have one nice clean complete section on the right hand part of the head. You can see guys that we don't have as much of an incline or roundness here at the back, therefore we can actually afford to take our box section back a little bit. Generally guys, we know people that have quite, you know, a more round head shape, there is quite a steep rounding from the coronal to the occipital here but guys we've got quite a flat surface at the top so we can see we can actually afford to take our box section back a little bit here i'm going to just groom it to the side double check where the comb goes off the head once again bump in and around here nice little curved section towards the back all the way over to the opposite side i'm going to just groom that down like so i want to just tip the head down a touch nothing too invasive nothing too uncomfortable for the client but guys this is going to help me so much with my posture my body position and getting the section in right which is ultimately the, the name of the game so here we go like a noodle all right here we go roughly in around the same area fine side of the comb there here we go tricky bit okay getting that tension in at the root now, watch how I follow that tension all the way down to the end of my section, all the way down to the end. It's gonna help me so much, all right? All right, I'm just gonna double it up and wrap around that, um, I suppose if you like, finger that we put into play. All right, really guys, as easy as that. All right, one section or one clip, I'm sorry, and then if I could have another one please, Mr. Alex. Beautiful. Okay, do you know what, you take that for me there, my bro. You come around the opposite side. Amazing, and then in your pop. Pop it in there, just above the thumb, beautiful. Fantastic, and there we go, one box section in the top. Nice and easy as that, guys. All right, there we are. All right, beautiful. Go, comb and scissor work together. Put in a nice little new baseline like that. I'm just keeping it in the middle for now. Once you have the baseline put in the middle, we can work it through to the left and then work it through to the right. What we are going to do is point cut this line in now. Reason is because we don't want it too straight. We don't want it too straight. All right, we don't want this line too straight, guys. It's not the nature of this hairstyle that we're going for, all right? Coming out underneath, now watch how I point cut it. Just getting my line into the bottom there. So we have this very, you know, definitely straight, but it's got the nature of being uneven because we don't want this cut line too straight, guys, because the nature of the hair and also the nature of the hairstyle. So there is my guide. I'm gonna come in and follow that guide on through, but point cut my line on in so it's the same length but it's still technically imbalanced, all right? There we go. Length here at the bottom to follow through to the top. So we're gonna work from bottom to top on this first scenario. So there we go. There is the difference in our length. I'm gonna take a much more extreme step to the right here, guys, because I'm not like, it's not like I'm cutting here. I'm cutting out here, so therefore I can't be here. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm gonna then dry the comb on out along with the fingers. And again, guys, notice how I'm just pretty much following the mirror at this point, all right? Get that tension on in there. This point V of the scissor facing towards the ceiling. I'm gonna etch in that line, follow it on through once again, bring it right on out, and pretty much at this point, I'm gonna use the mirror, my adjustments. Okay, there we are. 
finer side of the comb once again. A lot more control, guys, with the finer side of the comb. I'm gonna cut in a nice square line, all right? Like so, and that's section number one from top to bottom, the way that we all kind of know and love. Again, guys, the over direction here is very minute. Not a lot of over direction happening here. Fine side of the comb once again, making sure my body position is just off center. Fine side of the comb goes in, bringing my two sections on out, driving it on out, looking for my guide bump. There we go, nice and clear. Okay, making sure the tension is there, like guitar strings, guys. That's what we want to see. And I'm really kind of dealing with the you know the, the end of the section really off center driving on out okay and really great lesson in this guys that generally when we have clients that come in with you know hair this length generally more often than not they don't want to take a massive amount off so this is where choice of length really does come into play the choice of length here is actually more important than someone with the crop through all right, and just adjust the base length a little bit in relation to our corner here at the back. Do we all see that? There's our corner here. Bring our comb on through like so. We have a jagged line, jagged line, and there is our corner right there on the actual corner itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to the finger razor. All right. And from that corner, what I'm going to do is just adjust the base length a little bit ever so slightly. All right. Oh. Okay, cool. Now what I'm gonna do is add in a little bit of free flow and texture from the side moving into the back. All right, I'm not gonna use the scissors here guys because you can see straight away that there is, you know, um, a lot less density here on the side in comparison to the back. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much just enhance that texture and that movement coming through the side into the back. Okay. And again, just about mid length, down the hair shaft. I'm gonna just literally shatter the actual hair itself there. Right to the corner, guys, right to that corner. All right. Okay, beautiful. See, sits in line. Two lengths on either side, you see that? Yeah. All right. <coughs> Layer it. Just allow it to sit a lot more freer. Yeah, so here we go, section number one, right off parallel to the shape of the head. I'll lift that right on up there, get our desired length, boom, there we go. I'm gonna point cut that. Okay, I'm gonna lose a little. I wanna round off the rest of this as well, guys. Okay, firing the side of the comb, much more tension, much more control, all right. Still leaving it, of course, long enough to tie up, which is the desire, but we do need to reduce definitely an inch or two off this. And also, guys, I'm using a much more jagged, pointed cutting line. We've actually built into it is if you like, like a little platform or like a little support mechanism bump, all right, for the shorter hairs at the front to sit on the longer hairs in the middle. That's why it's round. It goes shorter to longer to shorter again. That's what a round shape is, yeah? So now my shorter hairs at the front are going to be able to sit. Look at that. No product, no blow dry, no nothing, it's just sitting there. Why? That's just shape. Yeah, that's what it does. So I wanna repeat that process because we'd like to wear it back in like a quite quiffy mullety, or if we want to wear it flat, or we have a few variation for Nate to tie up his hair, which is what we want to achieve as well, guys. Okay, section's coming forward now. There we are. Connect that on into the side to make sure everything is set as round as possible. Okay, great. 